usually like have pizza and salad. Well, today we're going to put it all together. Yummy. You know? It sounds good. I know she said, well, it sounded so, you made it sound so easy, but actually, <laughs> but it really is easy. And we're going to get started right away. Oh. And the red. You got the red, yeah. And you have the white, the red, you have the green. Which is what? Italian. Italian. Hi, this is Judy Keys, Cooking for All Seasons, and this is my friend Renee, and she's helping me today. And we're in Morgan Hill at the Aquatics uh, Park over on Tenet. Um, I'd like to thank um, Morgan Hill uh, for allowing us to shoot a show here. I'd also like to thank our sponsor, uh, Trader Joe's, for providing us with lots of goodies to uh, cook with. Um, so, Renee, what's going on here today? Well, it's a beautiful day. It's about 100 degrees. Yeah, and it's very really warm hot. today. Yeah. Beautiful it's, day. It's beautiful. And today we're going to make a focaccia pizza salad, or if you just want to call it uh, maybe a uh, French bread pizza salad. It's hot I know pizza. it kind of sounds kind of strange, but it's sort of like, you know, when you go out for lunch or for dinner and it's a, it's a warm night, you sort of usually like have pizza and salad well today we're going to put it all together yummy you know it sounds good i know she said well it sounded so you made it sound so easy but actually <laughs> but it really is easy and we're going to get started right away so the first thing we have today uh is we're going to have we have some little tiny tomatoes and we're going to toss them in some this is just olive oil that i've just uh, steeped with some garlic so if you want to go ahead and put those in, and we're just going to toss them with a little bit of olive oil. Can we see that? Cameraman. And then uh, Renee's going to stick that on the barbecue. And the idea is that we just want the tomatoes to uh, pop a little bit because we're actually going to end up putting them in the uh, in the salad part that goes on top of the pizza. So if you want to go ahead and just stick that. Okay on the barbecue and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this is just a, a, a an onion that has been sliced sort of into half rounds and the idea is to not, don't, you don't want to get it too thin so about about what does that say about a half an inch or so mm -hmm. a little less yeah we're just gonna less. we're just gonna put this in the same bowl this is we're trying to make this easy so you don't have to use a lot of you know, a lot of dishes, a lot of utensils, a lot of dishes. We're also going to just put a little bit of olive oil and garlic seasoning on this. And we're just going to toss it around. And this is actually, we're going to put this on the grill too. We're going to use this on the pizza. Everybody loves grilled onions. Okay, Judy, so in that oil, there's garlic, right? Yeah, I just put some uh, some garlic and some olive oil and just put it on the barbecue for a while and steeped it. You know, you could put any kind of seasoning you wanted. And if you wanted to add some uh, dried oregano yeah. or if you wanted yeah. to add some cumin or some Mexican oregano or whatever, okay. you know, whatever, or some thyme, whatever you wanted to, you could just jazz it up any way you want. Okay, and, okay so if you want to just go ahead and put that on the... Okay. barbecue so this is I mean this is going to be sort of a fast and easy way to get things done okay now we've got that done I know usually we're just kind of slow and meandering but today we're we're going to show you how we can do this fast okay the next thing is this is a focaccia mm. or focaccia or this is it looks it's herb this one's herb and it's got oh yummy oh mm. yeah on the counter Mm. It just smells so wonderful. It's got Yum. some uh, rosemary. rosemary in it, but they make all different kinds. This one happens to have a rosemary in it. Um, slice? Yeah, and let's see, Renee's going to go ahead and slice that. And what we're going to do is we're going to, same, same olive oil with the, with the garlic in it, and all we're going to do is wipe this on. And what we're going to do is we're going to toast it on the barbecue and the idea is that because when you make you know when you make a pizza like this you want it to uh we want to have the bread grilled a little bit so that when we put all of our goodies on it they don't quite soak in and when you grill the bread 
and it's a little toasty. It's crispier, right? It's crispier, yeah. Okay. This is delicious. This is beautiful bread, Judy. Is this from Trader Joe's? Yeah. They have a lot of different kinds. I mean, a lot of places sell this kind of bread. You know, and if you wanted to, you could just use, you know, whatever regular kind of French bread that you use. Oh, this looks yummy. Okay. Okay. So All right, more. those are ready. Okay. So let's go ahead and put these on the barbecue. We have some Okay. I'll figure room. it out. Yeah. And we'll put these. Okay. So, you know, while you're cooking, you know, and thinking about the summer meals, I was trying to think of something that would be, you know, simple and easy for everybody. And uh, the one thing that always came into my mind was, who, what do we eat in the summertime? Well, we try to think of simple things, and pizza was one of the things that kids always are interested in. And so I thought, well, what can, what can we do that we can do outside that the kids would really like? And the parents could be, you know, somewhat saying, okay, well, we can have pizza. If I make it at home, I can sort of control the things that I put on it so we don't get into a, a lot of expense because it is expensive if you keep ordering pizza every day and something that's fast and healthy. Today, we're going to put on some different things. We're going to put on some olives, some salami, some pepperoni, some different kinds of chilies. Uh, some pesto, the grilled onions. So it's really whatever kinds of things that you like to put on your pizza. And you know, this one thing about this is it's really something that your kids can do. Once the bread is grilled and ready to top, you're gonna see this is really something very simple that the kids can sort of make themselves. You know, obviously with your, you know, with your uh, attention, in your supervision. The other thing is, this is a great thing for hors d'oeuvres for a party. Mm, good idea. You, you know, slice them small nice and Nice and long. small yeah. and long in an yeah. inexpensive way. It's also a great way to get rid of leftovers. <laughs> Chicken yeah. on this, anything. Sausage. Sausage. Meat, meat pork. Meat, oh, pork, good idea. anything. Very good. Yeah. So how are we doing over we here? We are doing okay. All Almost right. Almost there, not quite. So we're going to get this bread toasted, and we're going to be right back to you guys. Yeah. Sure, go ahead. Okie dokie, here we are back again. 
Is this beautiful or what? Beautiful. Okay, this is Perfect. what we want. Perfect. Okay, okay. we're going to make three different ones. Oh, you're going to do three different types? Or? Yeah, we're oh. going to do a pesto over oh, here. Okay, all right. Just wipe it with a light pesto okay. covering. All right. This one we're going to wipe with a, like a spicy tomato sauce. Okay. You know, whatever kind you like, whatever your favorite. Look at this, spaghetti sauce, uh, whatever, pizza, whatever, whatever kind of sauce could you, you like. Like a carbonata, like, like an eggplant. You could do an eggplant, whatever whatever you like. Okay. And this one we're just going to do plain, you know, mix. some onions, some peppers, and, okay. you know, so we're going to mix it up a little bit. Okay. okay. All right. So first I'm going to go ahead. Okay. Oh, here, let's get you a fork. Can we have one of those? Here's a fork. Another little, oh, we got one. Perfect. So just a light, a thin Yeah, you just coat. want to do a okay. light. You don't want to do too much. No, so yeah, it's I too did. strong. Just the taste of it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yummy. It looks good already. Oh, delish. Okay. Mm. So I think this is easy for our families to do, you know, sort of kind of, mm -hmm. because, you know, first of all, for kids, everybody likes something different. Right. And when kids build something, they always like to eat what they build. That's sort of the thing. So you could you have know? the kids help you make these. That's right. Oh, perfect. That's right. Good idea. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. All right. So that's... So then... Okay. We're gonna do some, now, these are just plain black olives for me. We're going to put some plain black olives on mine. Okay. Okay. You want to get those onions? onions? Okay. We're going to put some chopped grilled, grilled onions. Judy, you're standing on my cord. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. And then on the plain one, we're just going to put some chopped olives. Let's see. Oh, and I have some pepperoni. Because remember, in this in the salad, we're going to put some grilled to the tomatoes coming off the grill. Those are going to go on the salad. So the tomato juice is going to kind of leak down in here, and it's going to be all mmm. Oh, delish. So, oh, here we got some pepperoni. You know, what, whatever you like. Leftover, you've got leftover chicken. Some leftover steak, whatever, whatever, like you know, whatever you like. Some oh, what would be really good is like asparagus, leftover asparagus, chop it up. Some artichoke hearts, you know, whatever sounds good to you. Okay, so should I put these on here? These? Yeah. I don't ooh, have, that. I don't even need to chop them. You don't even no, chop. No, I oh, can just okay, put them right fine. on top. But we're gonna and do. I like pepperoni, so I think, and I think most people like pepperoni. Yeah, kids love pepperoni. So pepperoni we're gonna put some pepperoni. This is going to be an overload. Yeah. Ooh, look at this one. Yummy. Ooh, that's beautiful. That looks delicious. Okay. Okay. So that's just going to be like an onion and pepperoni. Okay. I mean, an onion and uh, pesto. An Ellen onion and pesto. 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 Okay. Okay. I think I'm going to put some onions on this one. Okay. We'll finish them off. Okay. Ooh. But the garlic, you can see the garlic on the bottom, or is that garlic? No, just yeah. the oil. It's oil. Yeah, but that was that was the, the pan, pan that I had, that we the, had garlic the garlic and in. the olive oil in. That's right. That's right. Okay. So, ooh, that looks good. Okay. This is looking good. Let's see. What else can I put on this one? Peppers. What about ooh, yeah, red I got peppers? Some peppers. Oh, I forgot these. Okay. And you use these them are uh, piquillo peppers, and these peppers are Spanish peppers. They're a little bit different than uh, than our roasted uh, red peppers. They're a How little. How are they different? How well, are they different? they're they're not. I I they're think Spanish. they're Spanish. They have a little bit different flavor. I think they're more like a uh, pimento. Right. I was gonna say that they look yeah. like pimentos. They look. They they're exactly. Yeah. They're more like a pimento. And they're soft. They're really soft. Yeah, like and pimentos. you'll see them a lot in tapas bars okay. where they stuff them with. Um, Cream cheese oh. a lot of times. Oh, okay. So I think I'm going to put them over here too. Okay. And you have olives. Do you want to put this anywhere else on here? No. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, finish them on up. On this one? Oh, yeah, well. we've got some other ones coming up. So we got plenty of stuff to okay. do. Okay, okay. So let's oh, put. I used all the onions. That's okay. We could do more. All right. Okay, now let's get the cheese out. Okay. Thank you. Okay, and this is, what kind is this? This is, that's some mozzarella. Okay. And then, so just sprinkle lightly. We're going to put some mozzarella on them. Okay. Yummy. Yeah, you don't want to put too much cheese. I mean, this isn't like a heavy-duty cheese pizza. But kids like cheese. 
Yeah, but then we're gonna put some of this kind too. So we it's not a traditional goopy. It's cheesy not. This is pizza. not a goopy it's more cheese. more vegetable. It's more cheese, vegetable salad, cheese salad. Bread. So it's more of a full meal. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a meal. A full meal deal. Perfect. Yeah. My kind of meal. Yeah. <laughs> So you don't have to, you know, but then we're going to put some of this kind. And this is quattro. Now this has some Parmesan, Asiago, oh Fontina, good. and some provolone. Oh, delish. Provolone's my favorite. Definitely so, Italian. So, yeah, you get sort of okay. a little bit of a combo here. Then we're going to stick this back. What about Parmesan? You want to put a little more Parmesan or no? We're, the, the Parmesan top? goes on top of the salad. Perfect. Okay, so Please go back. we're going to be right back to you. We're going to put them right onto the the barbecue right now and melt your cheese down. Okay, we're back. We've got the pizza in the on the barbecue. The cheese is melting, and let's see. Renee is slicing up some. These are Kalmana olives, and the reason why I'm not just not putting them into the salad whole is because every once in a while, even though uh, you know olives say they're pitted, right. every once right. in a while there's a pit. You got one that's not pitted, and I'm telling you something, yeah. you can uh, have a problem. That's uh, true. So I would just suggest anything that says it's pitted, just sort of kind of, either when you take it out, kind of do the check. Also, because you never, you never know. You don't want somebody biting no, something down. No, losing a tooth. Yeah, no. so we're okay. going to start. Here were your tomatoes. I don't know if you see them. They're kind of roasted looking here. And they're warm, which mm. is wonderful. Perfect. So okay. what we're going to do is we've got some baby butter lettuce. Okay. Do these go in here, Jude? Yeah. Just about half of that Okay. to begin with. We're going to put in some, well, actually, this is baby lettuce, not baby butter lettuce. I don't know what I was. And this is some arugula, which in Italy they call rocket. Do they really? Yeah. Here, oh. take, take a taste. And the oh, reason why, why they call it rocket, if you kind of taste it, it's like, oh. it's, it's very peppery. Oh. Uh, oh, very distinct flavor. Yeah, Ooh. and on the pizzas in uh, Italy, they actually put this on wow. their pizzas. It's wonderful. That's it just different. really gives it a kick. Wow. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to just dress it with a little bit of olive oil. Okay. Perfect. And, ooh, some balsamic vinegar, because balsamic vinegar is sweeter. It's yummy. My favorite. Yeah, yeah. Love it. So you don't, not a whole lot, just, you know, okay, these are done. sprinkle it on. Okay. This is easy. Uh huh. A little bit of salt, not too much salt, because remember you've got cheese and salami and that kind of stuff on your pizza. And I think a little bit of pepper. This calls for a little bit of pepper, because you do have the tomatoes and stuff in the bottom there. Um, you have to be careful with the salt, though, because you have the Kalmana olives, and they are very they have salty. a tendency to be salty. And I notice your salt grains are very big, Judy. It's not Yeah, fine. this is you have a, it set to a, a coarse setting. Yeah, it's a little bit of a coarse setting. But that's better, though. Yeah, it, it tastes. Flavor? I think it tastes a little better. Yeah, yeah. We like it's salt. some sea salt. Yeah. So you know, treat yourself. Get some sea salt. Okay. Can I grab All right. these now? Yeah, Can grab, grab one out. Okay. Actually, I think we're gonna put some more salad mix in here. Okay, here you go. Here's a hot one. Ooh, here's, here's a hot one. one. Okay. Let's move this. And make sure that the okay. camera can see okay. what it's looking like here. Sort of clean it up before our company gets in. Okay. I'm going to grab another one, okay? All grab right. 
So you just kind of want to toss this around. Ooh. Yummy. Yummy. And then. And look at this one. This one ooh. looks good too. This was the pesto with the onions ooh, on that yeah. one. Oh, we got rolling tomatoes. Okay. Oh, well, that looks delicious, Judy. And you just put the lettuce right on top just of the right melted on cheese, top, just like and that. And then see the the warmth and is going to sort of it's going to sort of kind of it just wilt it together. just wilt it just a little bit. You got your tomatoes on there. Wow. Well, that does, and it lays nice. I think it looks real pretty. It does. It's beautiful. You know, and the red. You got the red. Yeah. And you have the white, the red. You have the green. Which is what? Italian. Italian. But I mean, you can put anything. You could put chorizo on this. Mm -hmm. You could put anything on mm -hmm. it. You, I mean, you know, whatever flavors, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. you like. There's a million things you could put. Oh on yeah, you, you could, could put actually goat cheese. Goat cheese. You, you could put could blue cheese. Anything. 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 Okay, so what do you think? I mean, you're not. I'm not talking about huge amounts of salad, but just enough to sort of get that little bit of a green flavor in there. And then we're going to hit it with a little bit of Parmesan. Ooh, nice Parmesan. Look Ooh. at that. Do we have some shaved. Grana Padano Parmesan. It's shaved. It's not shredded or grated. No, it's too. shaved. So yeah. I just so put it yeah, on top? Just, just sprinkle a little bit of that on top. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice. This side was definitely hotter. Oh. You know, everybody's barbecue is different. Did you know that? And people's barbecues... Some side, a lot of times, one side is hotter than the other. It seemed like this, the other side of this barbecue is hotter. So we got, here. Well, now we know. Next time. That one's hotter. Oh, a lot hotter. Yeah, because we waited hotter. a long time oh, for goodness. the other one. Okay. But these are perfect, and these were on All the right. other barbecue. Okay. We're going to okay. slice these up. We've got some young people here waiting to taste and some mothers waiting okay. to taste. So let's just... Mm. I hope you guys will try this at home. You know, obviously, because we're cutting a little bit smaller pieces, things are going to fall off a little bit differently. But I think that uh, all in all, I think you're going to find that this is going to be something that, you know, your families are going to enjoy. And uh, you're going to be trying at home. Are you ready for a taste over there? Okay. So why don't we bring some of these? Okay. Okay. Make sure they get some salad on there. Okay. Give them the salami. They would like the salami. You like pepperoni? Okay. There you go. Uh huh. I bet you like pepperoni too. Go ahead, huh? taste it. See what you think. Yeah, let us know if you like it. Does that look good or what? Mm. Pretty good. How yeah. about you, little guy? So where's your mom? You look like my nephew. Come on, ladies. Come there you on. Go. Have a piece. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. oh, this is available too, right? Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, okay. Anybody else? How about you? Yeah, you want to oh, come you around? have to try come it. Around. Right. Okay. No, okay. Come, come on. Come on. No, I can't have cheese. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, come around. Come around on this side. Oh, okay. okay. How about you? Try she a piece. No. No. Ooh, let's try it. Judy, we could try it. Okay, we can try it. Let's try it. Mm, what let's kind try do you want? it. What kind do we want? I want this one here. Okay. Ooh, yummy. All righty then. Bon appetit, Judy. Do you like it? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, we got that. Mm. Oh. Mmm. Delicious. <laughs> what do you guys think? Very good. Very good. Huh? Very good? Very good. good? Very good, Judy. That was the first time. Oh. Mm. Why don't you, because you're over there, just ask them their name. And... My name is Deanna. I'm Deanna. Um, I noticed you didn't get to try any. She can't eat cheese. No, yeah. I'm but... very intolerant. Thank okay. you. It looks delicious. 
Well, I'll, t I'll get to you in a minute. <laughs> and your name? Boris. Come on. Boris, do you like it? Okay, come on. Huh? Delicious? Come on. And your name? Samuel. Samuel, do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah pretty good. Yeah. Huh? Come Celeste. on over here. What is your name? Celeste. Celeste. Oh. Did you like it? Yeah. Good. Mm. Thank you. My name's oh, Louis. Welcome. Oh, it's very good. Try. Very good. I like no, it. It's great. <laughs> I'm Louis' mom, Spomenka. It's really delicious. I love it. We do the shopping. And your name? My name is Gloria, and this is the best I've tasted. Oh, I'm very so very happy. Very well, in a few minutes here, we're going to get all the lifeguards and everything out here to finish up the pizza and I'm hoping that uh, you guys out there will try it. And thank you again for being with us at the Aquatics Park at, for Cooking for All Seasons and I want to thank my bud. My yeah. pleasure. Anytime. Renee <laughs> Anytime. for being with me and I want to thank uh, once again um, uh, Trader Joe's for you know offering up all their goodies for us to cook. And I'm glad all you guys liked it. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad mm -hmm. that you're here to enjoy it with us. And obviously, once again, thank you to all my cameramen and Jeannie for helping. And um, so thank you again, and we'll see you next time. Maybe not from the swimming shore here, but maybe you just never know where we're going to show up next, right? Absolutely. OK, see you soon. Let's here, let's wipe my mouth. I've got <laughs> stuff all over. All right. See you again. Bye. Now these kids love it. It has kalamata olives and it has the Spanish peppers and all of those oh, nice good. ingredients so and the kids really it. love it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Oh, sure. Let's see. Let's let's find one. Is this the one with the pesto on it? Yeah, just a little piece. Oh, that's big. That one was really good. You know what? It's hard to. That was really good. That's the one I think I had. It's kind of hard to cut with. Thank you. Here, give Plum a piece. Cut your husband a piece. He's right here. Yeah. Which size? Yeah. Is this one? This pepperoni? Make, I can make the same thing. You know, just keep the butter and cheese. Everything else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Which one you like, sweetheart? Oh, Clam? The pesto? Sure. You were such Anthony, a good sport.